Alright, welcome to this episode of my playthrough of Horizon Zero Dawn. We have just cleared out a bandit camp in uh, Devil's Thirst, and um, that's where we are. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess there's uh, there's not really much more to say about that than that. Um, Nil. Nil was the guy who brought us here, and he kind of followed us around, but he didn't really do anything. Bit odd. I still think there's something going on with Nil. Uh, so without any further ado, let's keep exploring the big open world that we have. All right. So first things first, I'm going to stop in at this merchant. Because I know I've got some things which are only good for selling. And I'm at 40 out of 50, so used for selling for metal shards. So yes, that I will get rid of. Um, irregular ancient charm. Uh, this rare item of the old world is valuable to merchants. Yep. Uh, reflective Ancient Charm. Now the other thing that I'm going to start keeping is things that say trading with merchants, because some, like, pieces of armor, um, or weapons, you need to trade a specific machine part in addition to the metal shards. So... A machine core, small... Rare machine part is of high value to merchants, yep. Ancient Metal Eye, uncommon item of the ancients, offers good value when sold to merchants. Snap Maw Lens. I don't think I've ever seen a Snap Maw. Ancient Black Bracelet. Oh yeah, that's the watch. <laughs> and Ancient Bright blaze Bracelet. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Ancient Reef, basically a, a, a bracelet. Uh, this common item of the Ancients offers good value when sold to merchants. Markings show Red Rock Handbag Company. That freed up eight spots, and I should really get rid of these extra 23 Ridgewood. Modifications. Ah, yes, I have a bunch of modifications. seem to be grouped by types, so let's, you know, let's keep only the, the top two of each kind. Sure, why not? Damage coil, damage coil, sure. Terra coil, terra coil, terra coil. So I got three terra coils, 14, 10, and 7, so let's sell the 7. Uh, fire coil, 26, 21, 13, 7, 7. Five. So let's keep the 26 and 21 and sell the rest. Corruption coil, 27, 15, 11. So let's sell the 11. Handling coil, uh, 18, 13. Resist melee attacks weave. Resist freeze weave. Resist shock weave. Stealth weave. Okay. Traps and potions. All right. Um, I want to see what he has to buy as far as outfits are concerned. Now, I seem to be, take a very stealthy approach, so perhaps this um, Silent Hunter is a better way to go than the Survivor. Because I haven't really seen all that much in the way of elemental attacks, so... Um... I do really like the look of the Banook Ice Hunter. But I'm thinking the uh, Silent Hunter is probably gonna best suit the way I'm at least the way I'm playing right now. I need two Watcher lenses. I only have one, so I need to kill some Watchers. Um, 
and for the heavy needs bellowback hearts. One bellowback heart. I have no idea what a bellowback is. So for now, I'm just going to get the light version. So I've gone from the survivor to the silent hunter. And always free sample box, because free sample box. It's free. <laughs> Map, metal flowers, Banook figures, ancient vessels, vantages. Huh. An Utaru botanist map adds map markers hinting at the locations where metal flowers might be seen. I don't know what a metal flower is, so I'm going to ignore that for now. Um, Outlander's crude map adds map markers hinting at the locations where Banook art might be found. Could be useful, but I don't have any rich meat or fatty meat, so need to do some hunting. Uh, ancient vessels. A Delver's map adds map markers hinting at the location where ancient vessels might be found. 10 metal shards and 1 metal burn. I have a 1,444 and 14, so sure. Uh, vantages. An explorer's map adds map markers hinting at the location of vantages. 12 metal shards and 2 chill water. Again, I've got lots of each, so sure. So let's take a look at the map now. So there's a Vantage somewhere there, there's an Ancient Vessel somewhere there, Vantage, Ancient Vessel, yada yada yada. Another Vantage over there, so I wonder what they define as a Vantage Point. Oh wow! I have not been up here, but it's showing me the map. Oh, that's from the, um, from the Tall Neck. There's a tall neck there, there's a tall neck there, there's a tall neck there, there's a tall... Okay. Tall neck revealed that. Okay. What's that? I don't know what that is. That looks like something interesting. Something to get to later. Uh, looks like we might have to talk to Nil to end this mission. Uh, so I'm going to do that. We just slaughtered an entire camp. What do you have to say for yourself? Feels good, doesn't it? Hold it inside you one last breath. Then let it out. Ugh. I didn't find your partner. They killed him. I hardly feel surprised. He was already getting cocky when we carved through the last bandit camp. I thought he and I were agreed. Only enjoy the killing as much as the challenge. No great loss. Nothing in the wilds I can't handle. Just me and the voice of our teeth here. Your bow has a name? Yours doesn't. You're not just a traveler. That armor was fitted for you, and the way you hold your bow. I said a concerned traveler. I was a soldier, but I was a soldier longer than there was a war if you follow. Where the arrowhead passes between armor and skin, that's the place I belong. So I make opportunities to find it. That's why I'm coming home. Have you ever thought about hunting machines? No, well, they don't get that look in their eyes. So he's a psychopath, is what you're saying. Did bandits wrong you somehow? They wrong us all. They live filthy lives, so they have to die that way too. So you hunt them down to help others? No, no. For sport. I can't wait for wars anymore. Life's too short, and the thrill of death too sharp. If you kill a tribesman, there will be retribution. Hunt a boar, they complain if you waste the meat. But bandits, they're vicious. They always put up a fight, and no one cares if you kill them.
yeah, this guy's not so great. It is sort of for the greater good, but it's a bad attitude. I'm not sure who's worse. You or them. We're standing. They're not. Clearly, we did better. We're done here. Here? I'm afraid so. But we live in a world of ruins, and bandits are drawn to them like infection to a wound. You wouldn't let that infection set in, would you? I'm sure we'll meet again. Maybe. If it can't be helped. If we pass each other by, we'll know it by all. Yeah, he's a creep. Interesting hair, though. Alright, so... Alright, I'm curious. I'm gonna try and find this uh, vantage point. See what they mean by that. Might as well keep an eye out for things to hunt while I'm at it. Some hostile animals over there. Not animals, sorry. Hostile machines. But I'm not interested in machines. I'm interested in... things that have meat. Like that rabbit. It's gone. I spooked it. There's a fox up there. Or turkey. Turkey seems the obvious choice for right now. Well, I got some meat and crafted some arrows. Seems like a windstorm has picked up. So the vantage point marker is right here. Right here, actually. But it says it could be anywhere around here. So I'm thinking it's actually this bit of stone over here. I think this is what they mean by a vantage point. I mean, I could be wrong, but... 
Yeah. I'm going to head back to the... Oh, there it is. I see a purple icon there. Don't know what that means. Access Vantage Cache. Oh! So it shows you what that used to be. That's kind of cool, actually. Advantage audio. The pocket shit storm tour, day three. Post 13. I broke in and vandalized this place. Me and that kid, I think his name was Star. It was my first arrest. A real banner day for the Mahdi family. What a messed up kid I was. there were some um, like item places in here I was going to get light the fire And debris over here. The training dummy right there. Campfire. I think. Training dummy's it. Training? Oh, there's the training dummy. Got their attention. All right. Collectibles. There's the vantage point, the explorer museum. Quests. Um, what level am I? I am level 11. Okay. You know, those quests don't really suit my level at the moment, so I'm going to search for this ancient vessel over here. Um, just going to quickly clear the inventory.
So somewhere around here, there should be some ancient debris. Hmm. I'll shake it out later. Yeah, that was a bit of a hard landing. You're right. We have a glitch here. It looks like there's a climb up route where there shouldn't be. Well, let's keep going. Oh, that's a river. this. There's the ancient vessel. A cracked and battered vessel, once dear to the old ones, bears the legend Hearts Wayfarers. Sets of ancient vessels can be traded in Meridian for valuable resources. I'm not going to go up here, obviously. At least not yet. Alright. Um, going to get this... Um, this campfire. What is that? Bellowback. A fire bellowback. Cargo sack. Well, I think I mentioned that I had no idea what a bellowback was. Apparently the game has seen fit to educate me. It looks like that machine carries fluid in those sacks. Not sure I want to find out what kind. to override you would help. Now where would I learn that?
Yes, I can only grab onto ledges that are yellow. Forgot about that. I saw that its weakness was that was uh, dropping down on it from above. So, um, I'm going to try and get above it. Actually, I'm going to call an end to the episode there. Um, so, I hope you join me next time by clicking on the link right over there, uh, where we will take on these uh, bellowbacks and see how uh, they go down, alright? See you there.